So today I'm going to be working on getting my pony to travel through this aisle of flags. And my goal here is to get him walking through nice and comfortably. What's neat about this particular obstacle is that you've got pressure on each side of your pony as they're walking through. So he's not particularly fond of the flags, but we've done enough desensitizing overall with him to where he's pretty much okay with them. It's just in a little bit of a different scenario. And so we're gonna have to encourage him and gradually get him used to traveling down the middle of these flags um, while there's pressure on either side. And so, just for example, if I just lead him up here, let's see what he does here. There, he plants his feet right there, he raises that head up, and he's unsure about moving forward. So, what we're going to do is step by step, gradually build his confidence to let him know that he's got nothing to worry about, that he can come on through here, and he's got nothing to be afraid of. So, sometimes I'll just have my pony in the round pin where I have my obstacles set up. And that just kind of gives them an opportunity to be exposed to the scary objects, kind of in a little bit of freedom where they can just check it out on their own at a comfortable pace and investigate what's going on on their own. And he's doing pretty well. He's shown a little bit of interest. Um, he hasn't gone right up and actually gotten close enough to where the flag will touch him but he's gotten pretty close like where he is right now and I like seeing his head kind of lower hang down that shows us some indications that he's somewhat relaxed with it nowhere near where I want him to be but um, just from when I set these flags in the flag kit up in here uh, you can already see a big difference in him acclimating to the flags being in his environment. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of walk my pony around the flags and I want to stay off by the shoulder. I'm not directly in front of him because I don't want to get plowed over if something goes wrong and he kind of charges forward. But I'm going to stick with him here nice and quiet and make sure that he's comfortable at least with the flags being on one side of him. And I'm going to take my time, take some nice big deep breaths. Very good. I'm going to go ahead now and we're going to change directions. And I want him to be okay with the flags being on the other side. Very good. I like what we're seeing here. Good pony. And this is a slower process. It's very gradual. You know, it's not gonna look like a rodeo where my pony's flying sideways or lunging forward or anything like that. But it's all about our approach. If we kind of take control of the approach, of the approach and the methods we use, we can encourage our horses to move forward in a quiet and safe manner, even when there's some scary objects around. Okay, so I'm going to start with just sending him through the flags at a distance. Again, a lot of times I see people where they come up to an obstacle and they want to lead their pony over or through that obstacle. And that can be so dangerous because if your horse gets boogered or spooked or frightened from behind, they can plow right over the top of you and end up injuring you very seriously. And so we want to make sure that we put ourselves in safe situations so that we're less likely to get hurt when we're handling and working with our horses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send him through here and I'm going to do that one step at a time, making sure that he's comfortable each step of the way. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to lead him up as close as I possibly can before he plants his feet. Okay. So we can see he's planted his feet right here. I'm going to add a little bit of pressure using my steady stick. Good boy. He took a step. Whew, nice big deep breath. Very good. I like that he's lowering his head. I like what I'm seeing here. And what you're going to find is if we take our time and do this gradually, we're going to have a much better rate of success in building his confidence here. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get another step forward. I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure. I'm going to pick up my stick over here and I'll just gently tap his 
leg until there. He moved just a little bit further forward. I'm gonna let him know he made a good choice. It's super important that we focus on the steps that our pony takes, okay? Because we want our horse to step by step realize that we're placing their feet in safe places. So it's not about how much distance he covers, you know, whether he takes a big step or a large step or a small step. What I wanna see is progress, and I count that progress by the number of steps that he takes, nothing else. You know, if he only takes what we might call a half a step, where it's not really a big, long step, but as long as he's moved forward towards the object, I'm gonna count that as progress. <sighs> Take a nice, big, deep breath. Let him know that he made a good choice. Also, in between each step, I really wanna kinda of slow down, give him a chance to relax so that he's okay and comfortable and gaining more confidence throughout the, throughout the process of training him how to go through here. So the slower I take it, the longer I allow him to kind of sit and kind of soak things in, the better off we're gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask him for another step here. I'm gonna go ahead and point here and see if I can show him the way there. He took a step right there, very good. I took the pressure off, and when I say take the pressure off, I relieved the pressure off of the rope here. And then if I were adding pressure back here with my stick, kind of tapping in order to ask him to come forward or I was tapping on his leg, well then the moment he took a step forward, I take the pressure away, I let my hand down to take pressure off the halter, <sighs> take a nice big deep breath, let him know he made a great choice there. So I like what I'm seeing here, he's got a flag on either side of his face there and he's not ultra concerned about it. Let's see how he does as we progress him a little bit further here. But again, you can see I'm very methodical, taking my time, nice and easy. <sighs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna show him the way. There, we got another step there. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna take a nice big deep breath. Let him know that he's made some really good choices here. So because he's made some good choices, I'm gonna go ahead and give him the opportunity to retreat away from the pressure. And I'm gonna do that by asking him myself, I'm just gonna ask him to back up here. Good pony, and I'm gonna let him stand there away from the pressure. And now I'm gonna invite him to come right back in, but I'm not gonna stand in front of him. I'm gonna stand off to the side, kind of at an angle from his shoulder. And from this distance, I'm gonna encourage him to go forward. I'm asking with my lead rope here, good. I'm gonna go until he gets a little sticky. There, he's getting sticky. After he gets where he's planting his feet like that, I'm gonna see if I can encourage him to take one more step. What a pony. And I'm gonna take a nice big deep breath and rub my pony to let him know that he's made a really good choice there. So let's see if we can go a little bit further here. I'm gonna add a little bit of pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and gently tap his legs there. There, good boy. He took a step forward. I take the pressure away. Let him know he made a good choice. So a lot of this really is just more of the same. It's the repetition of the encouragement, of the affirmations, letting our horse know that the decisions he's made are really good ones and I appreciate them. And the way I do that is by taking my time, taking those deep breaths, taking the pressure away. One of the big mistakes that we tend to make when we're working with our horses is we just rush through it way too quickly. Instead of giving our horse an opportunity to respond, to think, to be methodical and purposeful with the placement of their feet, we're in such a rush that we're just turning up pressure, 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 come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, that they never really have a time to think about what's going on. So I'm really encouraged by the way he's behaving here He's licking and chewing. He took a nice big deep breath. <sighs> Very good things here. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and retreat him back. You see, most of us, our tendency would be, oh, he's doing great, let's go ahead and just take him all the way through and get it over. But I really want this to stick with him. I really want this to be a confidence building exercise that's gonna teach him that wherever he points me, it's gonna be a safe place. My feet aren't gonna be bound up. I don't have to worry about that. 
And what we're doing when we do that is he's learning to put trust in me as his, as his leader. He's learning that I'm not going to put his feet in foot traps. I'm going to send his feet to safe places. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to gently back him out of here. Good boy. I'm going to let him sit there for a moment. And now I'm going to ask him to come right back in through here. And I'm going to keep going until he plants those feet. And I'm going to stay kind of off to the side. I don't want to be directly in front of him here. Good boy. And I'm going to get one more step right there. I'm going to release the pressure. Give my pony a rub. Let him know he made a good choice. Now you can see he's a little bit more nervous, a little bit more apprehensive. You saw him kind of flinch when I went up to rub him there. He's kind of eyeing that uh, flag on his right side there. And that's okay. My job is to just kind of breathe, relax, <clears throat> encourage him so that he understands that there's nothing to be worried about here. So he's made some great choices and you can see that he's settling in pretty well here. I'm gonna go ahead and ask him to come through here and see if we can get him further along. Again, I'm gonna stand off to the side so that I'm not gonna get plowed over if things go sideways. And I'm gonna, just with my lead rope, kind of show him the way. There, good pony, I like that. And I'm gonna keep going until he kind of plants those feet, okay? Right there, good. And then I wanna get just one more additional step after he plants those feet. Oh, I like that. <sighs> nice, big, deep breath. <clears throat> I wanna really affirm him and let him know that he's made some really good choices here. And you see how he's kind of creeping back a little bit? I'm not so worried about that. I don't want to be so concerned about every little thing that he does that I discourage all of the great things that he does. All of those things will kind of be worked out with refinement and time and repetition. Right now, I just want to be about building his confidence, showing him the right way and letting him know, hey man, when you go where I ask you to go, you're going to be okay. I'm not going to put you into trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get him to come almost all the way to the end here. Good, I like that. And now I'm just gonna back him back up through here. And if you notice, he's not in a big rush just to kind of shoot through the flags. And the reason for that is a lot of this back and forth that we're doing with him is letting him know I don't have to be in a rush, you know. He might lead me forward and then he'll quietly let me back out of here. He might lead me forward a little bit further and then I can quietly back out of here. So he recognizes that at any moment, I might ask him to just kind of back right out of here. And so it kind of neutralizes the tendency that horses have to want to go forward, go forward, go forward, because I'm thinking, I'm, I'm encouraging him by saying, let's make some forward progress. And then, hey, let's back up a little bit and think about it. Let's make a little bit more forward progress and then let's back up and think about it. So that again, he's gonna be more thoughtful about the placement of his feet and not in just a huge hurry to scramble on out of here. So I like what we've seen here. <clears throat> he is doing outstanding. We're gonna go ahead and take him all the way through here. Here you go, I'll show him the way here. Oh, I like that, he slowed down a layer. Good, I like that, very good. And so now we're gonna just come through this other side here. And again, I'm not gonna be directly in front of him. I'm gonna stay kind of off to his shoulder. There, I like what we're seeing here. Very good. Good boy. I'm gonna take him one last time through here. And I'm gonna let him rest right here. And again, I'm gonna stand off to the shoulder so that if something does go wrong, I'm not gonna get plowed over. The key here is really taking our time and slowly showing him what we're asking for. If we can be patient with our horse and very in a, in a quiet and a patient and a loving way, encourage them to do what we want, oh my goodness, it makes such a huge difference in the progress that we make with our horses. But when we get into a rush, when we're all just focused on the end result and we're yanking and pulling on our pony to get them through where we want them to be, we end up doing a lot more work for us ourselves in the long run because our horses are going to be less inclined to genuinely trust what we're asking them to do.